Greetings viewers, I am Eric the Car Guy, but I'm also known as ETCG1 when I post videos to this channel. And I start things off here with, hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Enjoy this digital cake I found for you. All right, well today's topic may be something we've all experienced a little bit of in our lives. And uh, well, I'm gonna tell you a story about my youngest son who's experiencing it now, and that is buyer's remorse. Recently, I, I got my 2004 Honda Element back. I know that some of you are gonna be compelled to comment about this condensation inside this headlight, but my son had the best term for it. He calls it eternal tears. I think that's the best description yet for this condition. And yes, I will fix this problem at some point. I had about a year and a half ago or so, I gave it to him for his 16th birthday. Uh, my, old, my youngest son, who is 17, and I know there may be some confusion here, I have two sons, uh, one who is 30, and <laughs> it's, after a while it gets hard to remember. One who is 30, one who is 17, I also have a 15-year-old daughter and an 11-year-old grandson. But anyway, I'm speaking specifically about my youngest son now, the 17-year-old. Anyway, gave the 17-year-old, when he was a 16-year-old, the 2004 Honda Element to drive. I knew it well, I knew I could just hand over the keys and not have to worry about it. That was one of the main reasons. He also had a job at the time, he was paying for his own insurance and all that stuff, so that was the deal. He'd get the car, but he'd have to pay for his insurance, which he did through me, which saved him a considerable amount, but my premiums went way up. That's another video. Anyway, He's been driving this thing a little over a year now. Well, during that time, you know, he got better at driving and everything. And actually, I consider him, actually, both of my sons, uh, I consider to be good drivers, but he's a good driver, especially for a 17 year old. So he wanted to learn how to drive a stick. So I took him out in the 2001 uh, Acura GSR that I have, and I taught him how to drive a stick. Well, he was in love with it. He, lo he loved it. And even before we got to that point, I would, I would clutch and make him move the gear lever as, as I was driving a manual transmission. And I, I put this out on social media and he got basically a standing ovation <laughs> for wanting to learn how to drive a stick. A lot of people his age apparently aren't interested in that, but he is very much interested in it. So much so that just a few weeks ago, um, he was really wanting to get himself a manual transmission. The Element is an automatic, and it's a great vehicle and everything, but you know, it's top heavy, it's slow, and it's not a manual transmission. He's not into it at all. But he really, 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 really wanted a manual transmission. And um, I've got a situation coming up where my uh, older brother is gonna need a vehicle come January, February-ish. So I was gonna be looking for a vehicle for him. But my son saw this 2005 Honda Civic with a five-speed in it and he wanted it, he had to have it. And I told him, I'll tell you what, I will trade you the Honda Element for the 2005 Civic. And he, he bet, well, in addition to the uh, Element, or it, yeah, in addition to the car that, that I got, which was the 2005 Civic, which is now his, I also told him I'd throw in a year's worth of insurance, and that was huge, especially now he's not really working because of COVID and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, so he gets his car and a year's worth of insurance, could not be happier. We brought it in uh, last weekend and did a, did a once over on it. Uh, we machined the front rotors, he had a brake pulsation, and that was kind of nice to be able to do that zero cost and all that. But there was always a problem with the car, and I knew this from the onset. Uh, with a noise coming from the transmission, which I believe to be the input shaft bearing. So it, it growls. <laughs> so as, as, you're, as you're driving, it's like is kind of what he's hearing. And I told him it's an input shaft bearing. It's noisy, it's not debilitating. You'll be able to get to where you wanna go. In addition, the clutch is starting to get to grab up higher, which it also needs a clutch. Well, if you're gonna take out the transmission to do the input shaft bearing, you might as well do the clutch while you're in there kind of thing. Found a couple of other minor things on the car. Nothing, nothing really too major, mostly cosmetic things. And we took care of a lot of those things on that Saturday we spent together here in the shop doing stuff, including reconditioning his headlights. He, he, he did that as well. But I came home yesterday and he's been driving it back to school, back and forth to school for, you know, about two weeks. And, you know, this is one week after doing this work. And he just has a look. <laughs> he's just not happy. And I, I asked him what was wrong and he had no real response to that. But he was, he was kind of acting like Anakin Skywalker in Revenge of the Sith. I mean, he was brooding, <laughs> pensive, just, eh. 
And eventually it came out that he, he really, really hates the car now. He really hates the Civic for a couple of reasons. Uh, well, he's lower down for one in the headlights. In this, have been updated to the HIDs and everything. He could see great, but he says he can't see anything in the dark in the Civic. He doesn't like that part about it, and I think the noise from the transmission is really getting to him. The clutch might be getting a bit more worn because even though he was driving my GSR on occasion, he doesn't have a ton of practice driving a manual transmission car, and he has to deal with a few hills on his drive to school and such. So he's, he's probably slipping it a little bit more, and as a result, it's getting maybe a little harder to shift. It's amazing how his attitude went from Oh my gosh, I gotta have this car, I absolutely love it. And he was driving it, you know, when it, the transmission was noisy, he first got, that first week he was in love. I mean, those two were inseparable. He washed it, like I said, did a whole bunch of work to it. That work that, that we did over the weekend was mostly him doing the work. He reconditioned the headlights. I just showed him, he wanted to do a lot of this work himself. It's one of the reasons I'm holding off on that transmission thing and not necessarily dealing with it on my channel because he wanted to take part in it and that's all whole different process but I, I like that I commend that but it's amazing how he went from I love this car I love this car I love this car to absolute hatred <laughs> like smoldering glances and I mean he he's not happy and I'm sad for him in a way that he's not happy I mean he really wanted something and he didn't quite get there so he's having buyer's remorse and I'm just kind of stepping back because in my mind this is one of those kind of life lesson kind of things um, that you got to kind of deal with to know what it's like to be out in the world and to have a car like this and to only have some crappy thing to get you from point A to point B. I think my family may get a little bit spoiled uh, with my ability to come in and, and basically make right a lot of things. Not all of them. A lot of my family has pretty much figured out that the way my work schedule and everything works, it's not necessarily conducive to me saying, hey, I'll take care of that. Mm. Anyway, uh, buyer's remorse. And, and that's the story of my youngest son and, and his 2005 Civic, which eventually will get fixed and, and hopefully he will like it better. The one thing that sold me on the car that I was okay with is it had a new set of tires on it. It had a new set of tires. I, I knew I was good from there. I could, I could work with it. But it was, it was $2,500, but actually I bought it from a used car guy and it ended up being $2,800, which I always hate how that happens, buying things for used car people. I thought it wasn't worth that, but my son really wanted it. So I, I pulled the trigger on it and there he is. And now he's not happy. Buyer's remorse. What vehicle have you gotten that you just loved it to start with and maybe absolutely hated afterwards. I mean, is, I'm sure there's a story there. I'd love to hear about it. And that's, that's basically what I'm bringing up today is, is the story of buyer's remorse and, and using my youngest son as an example. But anyway, we will eventually get there. We'll get his car fixed and, and all that stuff and well, get him back on the road. And hopefully he feels better about it, but I've kind of already got this element here marked for my brother. So there's that. Tell me your stories. Tell me your experiences. I'd love to hear about them down in the comments. Uh, if you have automotive questions, air at thecarguy.com. That'll be linked down in the description along with additional videos, information, stuff. So check the description for more stuff. Thank you so much for watching today. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty, and I'll see you next time. I hope you don't have buyer's remorse about watching this video. Of course, you didn't buy it. So how does that work?